Hey guys, so I just, I woke up like an hour ago, maybe like two hours ago or something, but I ate breakfast and now I'm going to be straightening my hair because today's a very special day. I am reuniting with Jeffrey D. Morgan and I'm meeting Hillary Burton. <laughs> Here is the outfit that I am wearing, minus I have no shoes on yet, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my amethyst pendant because it calms me down. I'm wearing my bodysuit that I met Jared and Ruth and everyone from Supernatural New Jersey in, and I'm wearing my favorite pants and I am terrified. <laughs> we're in the car now. <laughs> we're oh. crying. <laughs> we haven't even <laughs> left <laughs> Becca's house and we're crying. We sat in the car and <laughs> we just were like, what are we doing? Amo won our tickets. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Oh, uh, now we're gonna get Duncan because we're having a breakdown and we kind of need some comfort. So now I can just be worrying with a hype. <laughs> me, <laughs> me. Where do the Russians keep their armies? And their sleeveys. 1988? It's a classic. Uh, all right, you guys. Please put your somber faces on. We are gathered here today to celebrate Jackie. God, I almost feel as if Jackie was just right here beside me. <laughs> Oh, this is hard. I do! I know Jackie. She wouldn't want this to be a sad occasion. She would want us to celebrate her life. My name's Jeff. I was her mother-in-law. Jackie, she had the voice of an angel. And we would sing in the bathroom. She also, something a lot of people didn't know, had an enormous collection of mountains. <laughs> I mean, mountains could mean any number of things. Oh. Yeah. Never won the name drop, she told me that she once had an affair with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. <laughs> but his dad was really Hades. Ooh. I mean, who doesn't want to leave that? Whoa. Word? was his mom got kidnapped by these people in hoods. I know. For her new husband, Burn. she said, husband. <laughs> I'm so glad that the peanut gallery is going to correct me. All of a sudden, vultures go and they start eating the dead flesh. That's disgusting. <laughs> and it had a bad smell. Ooh. Ooh. That's me. It's Becca and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about my ghost stories experience now as you clearly have seen I didn't vlog that much I got some videos from the show but I wanted to talk about my experience as well because the video would be terribly short if I only added in the videos that I filmed that day so yeah um, so really this story starts with buying the ticket. I was originally, my mom was originally going to give, um, basically pay for almost a, over half of the ticket, but she was concerned because she thought it might snow that day, and she was like, I don't think you should go, like, I really don't think you should go, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then my friend Courtney was talking to me, and she's like, yeah, like, we could go together, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going. I'm gonna get some of my Christmas money to go towards this ghost stories ticket because that's what my mom's money was for. She wasn't just gonna drop money for a ghost stories ticket. It was for, it was Christmas money. It was my Christmas money. And I was like, hey, so mom, um, if you're that concerned, give me only a, give me a smaller amount of this money and I'll just pay for the rest myself. And she was like, I don't know. And I'm like, please, I really want, I literally told her, I'm like, mom, this is like literally what I want for Christmas. Like, this is what I want. I want to see him again. Like, I want to see Jeffrey again. I want to meet his beautiful wife. And I just, I want to see, I want to see them. And she finally gave in and me and Courtney bought our tickets. She bought hers first and then I bought mine like literally a couple minutes later. But we weren't next to each other. There was a seat in between that was opened. Funny story about uh, who ended up sitting in between us. Um, our friend Heather who bought... A ticket and her seat happened to be right in between ours so it worked out really well that we were all together and then m me and Courtney like planned everything and she stayed at my house over the weekend because I live about two and a half hours away from like the area so it would 
it, she lives a little bit farther, so it would have been easier anyways if we were at my house. So then we went to Samuel's that day. Like, we drove up and then we went to Samuel's, which was so nice. I love it. They have almond milk. I didn't know that they had almond milk, and I put, and I had a hot chocolate with almond milk, and it was so good. And I got um, this cookie that I got the last time that I went there, this vegan, like, cookie thing. It is so good I love it so much like every time I go I'm getting this cookie Courtney wanted to get Hillary uh, flowers we were running we were like driving around trying to find a place to get flowers we finally managed to go to Walmart and uh, we picked out um, these beautiful roses for her and um, we finally made it to the event and we sat down and I was like thank god we're here like <laughs> because I was so stressed and then the show started and there's a raffle like and if you're vip which is what we were um you're automatically put into the raffle and heather our friend was called to go up on stage and jeff um saw courtney like standing up to get to let heather out and he's like bring courtney up and so they both um went up on stage and a lot of like people were like messaging me saying like becca are you okay why aren't you with them why aren't you with them and i'm like this is a stressful situation. Like, I just want to clarify, I am super happy for them that they got caught up on stage. Yes, I was kind of bummed. Like, I was. But I already told Courtney that. She knows that. Um, but I was so incredibly happy for them, like, regardless. Like, it was such a beautiful experience to see them. And uh, Heather was so cute when they called her name. It was so cute. But I have to, I'm so happy for them. And, uh, yeah, so the show went on it was really fun it was really f it was really funny um I love seeing Paul Rudd I love Paul Rudd I just I have a great and deep appreciation for that man and he was so funny and <laughs> Hillary literally can I just say she does such a good job like hosting and running a show like she did so well she was fantastic and oh, it was just so much fun um and then after it was time for the picture, which, hmm, terrified. Heather went, Heather was a couple people ahead of me and Courtney, so she went first, and then Courtney wanted me to go before her because she said, I want to see you with them. I'm like, um, why, why, I don't, can I just get out of here? Can I just leave? Is that is that an option? So I had my gift ready, which was a little mini Funko Pop, keychain of Russell Wilson. If you don't know who that is, he's from um, <laughs> the football team Seahawks, which I know nothing about football or anything, but I know that Jeff and Hillary and like their whole family love uh, Seahawks, and I know that Jeff loves Russell Wilson. Um, so I walk up to Hillary, and she's like, hi, how are you? I'm like, I'm so good, how are you? And we hug. And, and then I just look at her and I'm just like, can I just say that you are so beautiful? And like her eyes just like lit up. She's like, oh, thank you. I don't remember exactly, exactly what she said, but I know she like along, she said, she said, I know she said, thank you. And I said, also your hair is so beautiful. I love it so much. And we talked about that for a little bit and then she said let me introduce you to my husband have you met him before and I'm like <laughs> I met him twice and and she goes oh so you're old friends and I and I'm like thinking in my head old friends old friends okay I'm gonna go die now and I walked up to him he's like hi Oh, I've miss, missed hugging that man. I know I saw him in December, but you can never see Jeffrey Dean Morgan too many times. And I don't remember if we like t talked a little bit after that, but I know that uh, Hillary said, okay, she's like, let's all hug. And we all hugged and we took the picture. They were so cute. Ugh. And then I was like, I have something for you. And they're like, what is it? And, and I show it to Jeff first. And he's like freaking out and Hillary's like, who is it? And he's like, it's Russell Wilson. <laughs> he was like freaking out. And I said, this is for the both of you, but I know that he's going to keep it for himself. And they both started laughing. He's like, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. 
um, I don't remember exactly how we got to this topic, but he started talking about how, uh, Hillary takes his truck keys a lot, and, like, takes his car. <laughs> My head's, like, all over the place, because, like, I'm sure Courtney, like, she was watching, she might remember more of what happened with my experience than I do, but that's just what, I, this is just what I remember, and, um, yeah, so I said thank you, and I hugged them, and I said bye. Oh, also, I forgot to say that, um, Jeff and Hillary both said that they like my pants, so that happened, and I will never forget it for the rest of my life. Okay, back to the video. And then I walked up to like the people because I had my stuff over there and they gave me this tote bag. They gave me this tote bag because when you're VIP, you get this. And I'm not gonna show you everything in here, but it came like there's there's a lot of cute things. There's like there's like a mug here. Let me there's a mug which I'm gonna be using all the time. There's um Cook there's special cookies, which unfortunately I can't have because I'm vegan and these are not vegan So I'm just gonna give them to like my family because I know they're gonna eat these and they'll love them And there's like a pen in here. There's a signed thing in here and there's like a special little There's just a lot of cute little things in here and I oh, I'm so excited I'm gonna use this tote bag literally all the time. Oh I'm just so thankful for this experience. It was truly like one of the best experiences of my life, like, my mental health, like, during the show got a little weird for some odd reason, but I got, like, just looking at Jeff and looking at him laugh and smile made me feel so much better, and it, and I was great for the rest of the night, and seeing Paul Rudd in the flesh was, like, I was, like, kind of shook because I love Paul Rudd, <laughs> and I think he's so funny, and it was just such a fun and entertaining experience and it goes towards a really great cause. Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave links to uh, Aster uh, down below so you guys can check them out. This is what this event was benefiting. So I hope you guys liked the video and I hope you had a great day. So yeah.